Hey, what's up? This is Jason, and today I'm going to show you a couple of options for recording with your Alisa Strike Pro kit. So you can see number seven are the direct output. So you've got kick, snare, hi-hat, ride, and then left and right for toms and cymbals. And number six in the top right there, that's the main outputs, where left is mono. So using the direct outputs, I routed them through my Allen & Heath Z10FX, which allows you to control individual effects and various different things for uh, each of the inputs. And I do four tests. So I'll show with the effects on and off with the main channels outputting the sound and the effects on and off with the direct output so you can hear a difference in sound quality. Hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so obviously it's much louder going through the direct outs because they are unbalanced signals as opposed to a balanced signal that's coming out of the main outputs. So the cool thing is, is you can control the kick, the snare, the ride, and the hi-hat independently. The toms and the cymbals both go through a left and right stereo out, so you can apply the same whatever post uh, processing that you want for all of the toms or the cymbals. When I was doing the main output tests, um, I don't think a lot of Alesis users know about this trick. People have complained about the volume of the Strike Pro kit being pretty low, but here's a quick way where you can actually increase the volume of it. So if uh, on the module you hit the Kit FX button, you'll notice there's a compression option there, and if you set that to master, you can actually adjust the output volume uh, of the compressor as well, so you can make it sound a little bit louder. Uh, and then any of your reverb or EQ or any other effects you set up in the Strike Pro module, that is going to be outputted through the main outputs, but those are not outputted when you're going through the direct outs. So you're just getting the raw signal when you're using the direct outs, which is cool because obviously you get a lot more control with it. The other thing to point out is if you want to record using the direct outputs, you need to have a mixer or an audio sorry an auto audio interface that allows you to send all of the channels to the digital audio workstation that you're using so i'm using the z10 fx and i'm using logic pro x to record in the z fx does not support that it only supports two output channels which is the main mix out 
So it's only sending uh, the final mix from the mixer into uh, Logic Pro X. I believe the Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 will actually allow you to create a separate track for each of those inputs. So you could record your kick, snare, hi-hat, and ride on separate tracks, and then your toms on a separate track, and your cymbals on a separate track as well. The other thing with the Alesis module is there is no routing in the module, so if you wanted to um, kind of mix and match different pads through different outputs, the module doesn't support that as well. So you're kind of limited to whatever those uh, those outputs are. But the uh, flexibility and the freedom is pretty cool. So if you're playing on stage, whatever is outputted through the headphones is still controlled through the faders and whatever is being sent out of the mains on the Elisa Strike Pro module uh, is also using the effects, the volume and the faders that you've set up on the Strike Pro as well. So you can output something different to the soundboard uh, as opposed to what you want to hear in your ears and vice versa. So it's pretty cool that it has that flexibility. Um, what I'm going to be doing is getting a Scarlett, uh, Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 in the future so I can actually record the individual parts themselves. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick video. Leave me some feedback about uh, what you do to record with your Lisa Strike Pro Kit. Thanks for watching.